Hello class. Today in Language Arts we are going to be looking at some poetry and what some authors do called repetition when they repeat words or phrases in order to create feelings and emphasis in their work. When I read this poem I want you to think about how the author uses repetition in the poem and the feelings it creates while you're listening. Notice how I read the text as well. Listen to me read the text entitled Bison by Tanya Garter, who is a Sioux Indian at Cheyenne Eagle Butte High School. Where has he gone, the great shaggy beast, the wild one, the provider of the warmth from cold, the food to drive away hunger, the robe and moccasins for my feet, the leather for my shirt, the skin for my tent, the bones for my tools, the sinew for my bowstring, the horn for my spoon and cups, the stomach for a bag to carry my things in, the rawhide. I look for him on the plains and he is not there. I look for him in the meadows and the valleys and the water and he is not there either. I cannot live without him. What words do you notice that are repeated throughout the text? Turn to your neighbor and discuss what words you hear quite often throughout this text. What does this word represent in this, in this poem? What kind of feelings did you feel as you heard this word being repeated over and over again? Did it help you to recall what you were reading and create a mental picture? Turn to your neighbor and discuss that now. Tell me what you were thinking. Could this strategy of repetition be used every time you read to help you remember what you're reading? Could you incorporate into your own writing? Tell your neighbor why good writers use repetition and what it can do to their writing.